today I'm going to be showing you how to do a burn dressing using Santal. So the first thing you're going to want to do when a patient comes home with a burn is get CHG and washcloths with a basin, diluted CHG and washcloths just like you're giving someone a bath, and clean the wound. You're going to want to debride any dead skin, any debris that's on there like soot or anything like that, um, and then just make sure the wound is clean all over in the surrounding skin. Once the wound is clean, you're gonna set out your sterile field. And then we have our Santal. This is Vaseline, so Santal comes in a larger like foil looking tube, but we're using this today. Then we have our zero form gauze. We have four by fours, acrylics and scissors and sterile gloves. So before you put your sterile gloves on, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take the Santal. Sarah has a forearm burn here. And Santal needs to go on, they say nickel or Oreo thick. So if you think about just like a single stuffed Oreo, it's pretty thick. Um, Santal is an enzymatic debrider. So if someone has like a partial thickness wound or what's called eschar on the wound, this will enzymatically debride the wound. Because of that, it has to be changed daily because it kind of like loses its power after about 24 hours. So I take the tube and just directly put it on the wound that seems to be the best way to make sure it's actually being applied thick enough. So as you can see, I mean, you want it, you want it really thick. So you're gonna use quite a bit. Okay, so once your wound has the sample on it, you're gonna get rid of your gloves and we're gonna get sterile gloves on. And then once you've got your sterile on, you're going to the rest of the way. Okay, so we got our zero form here. This just comes in that foil packet. And you're going to cut a piece. So you're going to want the piece larger than the wound because especially on the forearm, it's going to slide around. And then I like to kind of press Make sure it's all distributed on your burn. Once you got it like that, you're going to take four by fours. We always put gauze of some sort or like an ABD over the gauze because um, you want extra padding for comfort for the patient as well as something to absorb all of that extra drainage. We're going to take acrylics, we're going to start at the wrist and wrap around. And then you're going to want to go up a little bit higher because once again, obviously it's going to slide down and make sure your margins are extra large. Okay, cut our acrylics. Perfect. Now we're going to take our band net. This is size six. You can use whatever size is available, but typically you use size six, seven, or eight for the arm or leg. Put it on. Perfect, and that is Sandal.